but looking at passing around the guard, if I can be in a position where I can get connected and high leg for a pass, that is a, a good skill to have. However, sometimes you know, they start closing their legs. What do I need to do? I need to have the skill of just coming around here. Once I've got this angle, right hand the hip, left hand the knee, I'm going to start pinning and walking and sprawling. So I'm coming around to create the angle all the way around, left knee is on the ground, left elbow comes down, my left ear is on his belly, and then I walk the guard away to finish in a consolidated side control where I've got an underhook and cross face. Let me do that again from this angle. So we're starting here, if I can high leg, that's great. But if he's got his leg crossed, I can't do that. So I'm just going to leg weave to here. And once I'm here, I'll do a slow motion. I'm pinning this down. I'm starting to walk away. I don't stay here like on a 90 degree. I keep going around. Left knee's on the mat. Boom, I'm driving this pressure forward. I want to push his guard away. Push his guard away. I can walk all the way back in here if I like and start to drive up and finish in a consolidated side control. Do one more for this angle. So I'm starting here. I'm going to leg weave up, coming in here, pinning down, walking around, walking. And then once I come, I'm driving, pushing. So I want to turn this guard away. And then I can come back around. I'm going to come all the way in and come in for like a leg drag style pass. Either way, I make the angle and I transfer up the body. Time.